welcome to my channel, Joe Fixes It. I am Joe, and today I'm gonna to show you a new battery charger I bought to charge my 18650 batteries I use in my fancy headlamp while working on my cars. For those of you who don't know about lithium ion batteries, 18650 is just a classification for the dimensions of the battery. There are other lithium ion batteries with different dimensions and different number designations. It charges lithium ion batteries and older batteries like nickel cadmium and nickel hydride batteries. I will charge all of these in this charger, but primarily it's just for my headlight. I paid $54.99 for this, including shipping. I bought it at a local place called 18650batteries.com, and it is based in Georgia. $54.99 is a bit pricey for a battery charger. This is not going to be an in-depth technical review point by point on the charger. That's already been done. I've had it about three weeks and I wanted to show you what I thought was good about it, show you the interesting things, and show you a thing or two that I didn't like about the charger. The battery charger I bought was an X-Star Dragon VP4 Plus. It is also backward compatible to nickel cadmium and nickel hydride batteries. Not only will it charge both of those, but it will test your batteries, give you a general state of health, with the older batteries, it also has a refresh mode where it can bring some of the batteries back to life. This is my primary flashlight. It runs about 1400 lumens and has a run time of about two and a half to three hours and it sits on my forehead. It uses a lithium ion cell. This is an 18650 battery and it has about a 3000 milliamp hour at 3.7 volt output. This is compared to a typical AA battery, just for size reference. I've been using the older batteries for about five years now. It, I actually have eight of them that I use, and I, in the course of a day, I'll go through all eight of them and be charging at the same time, too. More why this is important later. My batteries have had a tough life. You can see some of the insulators are starting to come off of them. So not only did I get a new battery charger, but I bought a whole new set of batteries too because they're getting pretty tired. Okay, my primary charger is a Nightcore i4. That's the one I've been using for about five years now. It's a pretty basic charger. It has a power light and it has blinky status lights. When the battery's full, all of them are lit and they stop flashing and that's pretty much it. And typically it would take up to eight hours to charge the battery. So you, now you can see what the problem I was having and why I had to have so many batteries. First, I'll give you a little rundown on the indicator lights. You have four LEDs here, and each one of those LEDs has three different colors. One is red for when it's charging, one is green for when it's fully charged or the bay is empty, then they also will turn blue if they're discharging. The only time they'll be discharging is if you're doing a refresh on it or you're doing a capacity test. The capacity test is where it discharges the battery all the way flat and recharges it, and it tells you what the milliamp hour capacity is of the battery. This is your main display. You put your battery in and it immediately pops up and tells you what the percentage of charge is and it also records how many milliamps that it took to fill it up so you'll know how many milliamp hours that it was missing. And it also tells you the channel and the charge rate. The charge rate is default to one amp. As a note, you can make the outside channels charge clear up to two amps and the inside for a maximum of one. Okay, if you wanna change the charging rate, you can toggle it by pressing the charge refresh button. So tap it once, it goes to two amps, tap it another time, it's one amp, and tap it at one, it's back to one amp. Just remember, only outside channels will charge up to two amps. The inside channels only go to one amp. Suppose you, your battery's been around a long time and you wanted to give them a test and see what their capacity was. You press and hold the test button. It switches over to test mode, and the first thing it does is it charges it all the way to capacity and then it'll discharge it all the way flat and then recharge it and tell you what the milliamp hour rating is for the battery. The second feature is the refresh feature. 
That's pretty much good for uh, nickel hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. The left button you hold down and it goes to refresh mode. As you can see, the light's blue, like I said before, because it's gonna discharge it all the way, recharge it, discharge it until it decides that it's got all the memory effect out it can. On the back side of the charger, left to right, this is a plug for the cables that is an ohmmeter and tester for batteries. The next hole is the power plug. A good thing about this is that it will plug into AC and it also comes with an adapter for your car. The third one is a regular USB port that you can charge off of. This other one is another port for a particular kind of battery pack that I don't own. And it comes with a set of test leads too. They have little flat ends so they'll make good contact with the batteries when you test them. Once we're plugged into the back of the charger, we'll touch them both together and that zeroes it. First thing it reads out is the volts. So we're getting about 44 to 49 ohms of resistance. That's good. It kind of gives you your state of health on your battery. The manual really doesn't say anything. It just says compare it to a new battery. With a little bit of research, the best numbers that I could come up with is anything less than 100 is good. Anything 400 or above means your battery needs to go in the trash. That's just another testing function that comes with this. Sometimes I'll have a little trouble putting the battery in, it starts charging, but if it gets bumped or moved off center a little bit like that, I'll have to wiggle it around until it makes contact again. That could have been a little bit better considering the price of the charger. About the only thing I can think of that was a pretty cool feature that I didn't really expect it to do is you can mix and match batteries. You can put a nickel cadmium, a nickel hydride, a lithium ion battery, any of them in there and they'll charge all independently because they have all independent circuits. That is cool. And about the last thing I can think of, and I had mentioned this earlier in the video, I can use two batteries all day long when I'm working out in the shop. By the time, by two and a half hours to three hours when my headlamp finally goes kaput and the battery goes dead, the one that I had run dead before in the charger, as long as I'm using the two amp rails on there will be fully charged. So I can sit there and work between two batteries. Before with the night core, I had to have like six or seven batteries to make it all day and be charging them while I was at it. I didn't expect that. I didn't even know that when I bought it. I personally think it's a bargain. So for a one to 10 on chargers, and I'm not Mr. Experience with chargers, I give it about a nine out of 10. One is I think all four channels should be able to produce two amps. Second, all lithium ion batteries should be able to fit into it. But as far as a charger, it is leaps and bounds from what I'm used to. Uh, they sell them at the 18650 store, good place. They got my order out right away, shipped right to me not a problem. I'm gonna give this guy a thumbs up. I wanna thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any suggestions or technical knowledge you'd like to share, leave them in the comment. If you enjoy this channel, feel free to subscribe. This is a channel where I work on my mower, work on my cars, and do some product reviews. We will see you in the next video.